Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, How Faith is Made Perfect, March 26th. Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. James 2.17 the expulsion of sin is the act of the soul itself. In its great need, the soul cries out for a power out of and above itself, and through the operation of the Holy Spirit, the nobler powers of the mind are imbued with strength to break away from the bondage of sin. When man surrenders to Christ, the mind is brought under the control of the law, but it is the royal law which proclaims liberty to every captive. Only by becoming one with Christ can man be made free. Subjection to the will of Christ means restoration to perfect manhood. Sin can triumph only by destroying the liberty of the soul. Do you realize your sinfulness? Do you despise sin? Then remember that the righteousness of Christ is yours if you will grasp it. Can you not see what a strong foundation is placed beneath your feet when you accept Christ? God has accepted the offering of His Son as a complete atonement for the sins of the world. True faith, which relies wholly upon Christ, will be manifested by obedience to all the requirements of God. In all ages, there have been those who claimed a right to the favor of God even while they were disregarding some of his commands. But the scriptures declare that by works is faith made perfect, and that without the works of obedience, faith is dead. Satan believes and trembles. He works, he knows his time is short, and he has come down in great power to do his evil works according to his faith. But God's professed people do not support their faith by their works. They believe in the shortness of time, yet grasp just as eagerly after this world's goods as though the world were to stand a thousand years as it now is. Do you believe that the end of all things is at hand? that the scenes of this earth's history are fast closing? If so, show your faith by your works. A man will show all the faith he has. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.